So how are you all doing tonight? Just follow you from Facebook then. Thank you for the follow. Alright. So. Welcome to We're Going to Draw Something Tonight. <laughs> We're just effing around. Yeah. Messing around tonight. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Isn't that what we do every night though? Some nights. We're coming. So you got my way? I'm gonna look at that now. So what are you drawing tonight? We're gonna do a galaxy. Nice. It works. We're gonna erase that. No, I'm <laughs> messing with the brushes real quick to see which one's going to work the best for what we're trying to do. So do you do a uh, test sheet for your brushes like you would for your paints? Yes. Okay. Well, like an actual... Because I've seen you do it and I've done it before. You do a little test, like with the resin and those, uh, the color ship powders yeah they look different with a clear or white background than they do with a black background so it's always good to know what it's going to look like either way yeah that's what the problem was well okay like we were uh watching that 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 uh how to video tonight when they do they were doing the galaxy on the table and they used the white powders that I have basically and I know that they come out really super vibrant on a black background and it's the actual color not the white but they didn't know that but that's because I have tested it and I've seen it so many times it's like okay and they come out different colors with different colors behind them too which is kind of cool okay so but I was just wondering if you made like a real test sheet or just like a ground excuse me pardon me Oh, you're fine. Beep, beep. That's why <laughs> that's why this channel is rated um for mature because I cuss a lot too. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm not suitable for small children during the night. I, I hold my tongue me. all day. Definitely not suitable for small children at all. <laughs> at night. Oh, come on. I don't think it would be so bad for small children. They might just, parents might have a hard time explaining some of this stuff. Yeah, hey mommy, what's this? It's a red lip catfish. Is, it, does that really exist? <laughs> what's up with this vampire snail? Is Nessie really an oarfish? I'm going to laugh if they find out Nessie's an oarfish. I really am. Yeah. That is the only thing that makes perfect sense as to what Nessie could be. Unless there's some other creature that we don't know about that's similar to an orc fish, but when you take into consideration what we know about them, but don't get me started on that. I won't get started on that. Too late. I'm done. You sure? Yeah. Lawler has scuba dive. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mom. Hey, what? Can you tell me how to get to Bell's Canyon? Huh? Can you tell me how to get to Bell's Canyon? Yeah, it's in Loch Ness at the very bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it's, I've actually seen pictures of it. It's actually quite beautiful. Yeah? Yes, I've seen a documentary about people scuba diving in the bottom of uh, Lake Michigan, I think it is. Too, and there's some really cool. It just, I don't know, seascapes are so amazing sometimes. Okay. But the freakiest thing underwater is the Mariana Trench. That and the cities over in Europe that are like seriously buried under the sand in the ocean that you can go scuba diving and like go through ancient cities. Yeah. Hi, Mikey. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so you know what I might actually do? I might pull out a model and start with that, and then... Uh... How are you going to model the universe? Draw a couple circles and then start filling shit in. You know how to color. Oh, shut up. Nobody needs to know I know how to cuddle. I cuddle. Oh, come on. Have you actually seen me with a color wheel? Seen you with crayons. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do with you? Love me. Oh, I love you with all my heart. And laugh. I think that is the single most important thing in life is to be able to laugh. And then aside from basic needs and shit, but like, in essence. Are you gonna make a plea dog? Should I make a- you know what? You just- You can make a poodle with your you ears and a nose and say, I have a planet! You got me- you gave me an idea. <laughs> you gave me an idea. Sorry, Coda. Is your dog okay? Yeah, I just touched him and he was sleeping. Tell him I say hi back. Just have a little bit of fun tonight. Actually, you know what? You got me thinking. Uh oh, that's always dangerous. No, it's not Taking dangerous. Taking world domination, murder. No. Gardening. No. What? You know, it may be gardening. You don't make me want to draw an avocado tree. Hey, you know what? I drew that for a year. You know, I know, and I miss that avocado tree. I, that was the, that was a very rare avocado tree, and I successfully killed it. I killed it real good. I loved it to death. I mean, okay, how many times have you seen an avocado tree sprout two of them instead of just one out of the same seed? And didn't we have three at one point? We yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah, if I'd have kept that thing going, we'd have had a mutated avocado tree. I wonder if the avocados would have been weird. <laughs> mutated it looks avocado. Like a peach, but it's an avocado. <laughs> oh goodness. Granny talking about avocados now. Hey, mm. you know? When you get better at that, and we can get some other trees going without me getting depressed and killing them, <laughs> I can teach you how to graft. You know you could graft blueberries onto a rose bush? Seriously? Yeah. You could put peaches on a rose bush, too. Mm -hmm. It's really cool, and and the grafting process is almost the same as the aerial root process. The only difference is, is that one of them you're trying to heal the wound, and the other one you're trying to get the roots to come out of the wound. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually kind of cool. It, 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 what you can do with plants, and some of them are just freaking amazing. Like, I can't believe you didn't know that basil will live forever if you never let it bloom or if you never let it flower. Speaking of, before I go to bed tonight, I got a water mine. Yeah? Yeah. I'm thirsty, old dude, since you know we repotted it, huh? Yeah. That's okay, because it looks like my cake pot could probably use a little bit of water, too. And you know those getting coffee pot that trees always need it. Yeah. Those things are worse than freaking weeping willows. So which one would you prefer, coffee trees or weeping willows? I think aesthetically they're both very beautiful plants, but they're a bitch to grow. So can I just group them together with... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Granny. Well, what about you? Yes, I love my avocados, but I love my coffee plants because someday I'll be able to drink the coffee from them. You know what? I think all plants are equally as bad. Nah. Cactuses are easy. 
Okay, cacti is a different story. I'm talking besides cactus. Excuse is me. Is that common myth with cactuses? Cactuses really do need water. And sometimes they need to be watered in the winter. That's how people kill cactuses. Oh, it doesn't need water. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> Especially the baby ones, but you learn that with all the ones that we planted. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yes, we are like overrun with cacti, I don't know, but I love it. Cactuses. Yeah. Extremely. I think I can't wait. I'm gonna let her plant some of the sunflowers. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna let her plant the teddy bears. Mhm. Mm and uh, some of the mammoths. Oh, you're going to make her a really happy kid. Oh, yeah. So, you know, we got to plan that out this year, right? What? Where the sunflowers are going to go and which ones are going to go where. Because I want them to crossbreed again this year. Could you imagine a teddy bear mammoth? That'd be pretty crazy. Okay. A teddy bear mixed with my, my hybrid. Oh, it's just a 25 foot tall teddy bear freaking sunflower. No big deal. <laughs> yeah, he wants some crazy tall sunflowers. <laughs> well, I'm just sad that if you just keep letting them go, that they lose their color. Because they have that really pretty red to them when they first start. And then over the course of about five years, they reverted back to yellow. Yeah. Oh, that brings an interesting subject. Did you know that purple sunflowers are real? Yes. Did you know that they're sterile? No, I didn't. Yes, they are genetically bred. A, to be sterile, and B, to be purple. You know why they're genetically bred to be sterile? Why? Because they're marketing for these. Now get this. They're okay for people with allergies because there's no pollen. <laughs> okay, but stop and think about it. By doing that, if you want to have that exact sunflower every year, you're going to have to buy the seeds every year because it doesn't reproduce seeds. Plus you will be guaranteed the exact same color, the exact same thing every time because it's genetically modified. Whereas when you crossbreed them, you never know what you're getting next year. It literally takes almost two years to find out what your sunflowers are gonna look like after you've crossbred them. Because first they've got a seed and then you gotta wait another year <laughs> before they grow up to be before they start blooming, because sunflowers actually start blooming wet mid to late summer? Yeah. They don't even start showing till mid to late summer. Well, no, they show. They just don't bloom until then, except for the wild ones. The wild ones don't get more than about three feet tall that I've seen, but they bloom all summer. They're just like, pop, here we go. And the black oil sunflowers, the ones that everybody loves to go take their pictures with, Mm -hmm. You know, you can actually plant those twice in a summer. Yes. You can plant and harvest them twice in a summer. I did know that. I kind of missed when the fields out here were nothing but sunflowers. That was cool. <laughs> First you take their cows and now you painting their sunflowers. Oh, I tainted the birds too, don't forget that. They're probably singing Bob Marley while they eat the fuck out of their sunflowers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't worry about a thing. No. Just a couple of seeds. <laughs> you know, there's a real big thing in the photography community about that whole thing with the sunflowers. Yeah. 
Yes, and it's actually led to lawsuits. If you can believe that. What you gotta remember is that even the one the one that's always going out by the airport out here is private land. And do you know what they grow those sunflowers for? Do you know what the black oils are used for? Mm-mm. Well, black oils are your sunflower oil, and they're also what we use for bird seed because they are the oiliest, which means that they're the best for the birds. It gives them the most nutrition. Okay, so this is actually somebody's livelihood, and every year, and I know everybody on Instagram and Facebook sees it, every year everybody's out there trampling these fucking sunflowers. Some people picking them. I mean, I heard some, two people got arrested last year up at DIA mm -hmm. for picking the flowers and being trespassing. Same. And, well, I just avoid photography groups during that time because it is just chaos. Oh, you shouldn't be doing that shit. Grow your own. Jeez. Save some bees and then you don't got to deal with all that crap. I mean, you don't have to be one of those people. You know, I will never be one of those people. Oh, that didn't work in my favor. Honestly, I think that a lot of time in this day and age, that is so cliche to do the sunflowers at the end of the sun at the end of the summer. It just, it really is just cliche as hell. I'm debating. You know what I'm debating? You know what I'm really, really debating? If people really exist or not. Yeah, that too. Okay. I have a friend who's colorblind and he says that purple is a lie. And that's why we always joke about purple doesn't exist. And it's Ray's favorite color, so yeah, <laughs> that's even funnier. <laughs> but yeah, sunflowers, man. It won't let me shrink it down. So, uh, what do you want to plant this year in the garden? Other than your okra. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You don't know, huh? I don't know. Well, that's no fun. That's really no fun. We got lots of cool clouds. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, I got the dwarf mammoth sunflowers too. I want to see those. They only get about two feet tall, but their head is as big as a mammoth and you can eat the seeds. Really? Yes. And well, they may be genetically modified, because I have a feeling they had to be. They still produce seeds. Interesting. Well, as somebody with severe allergy to pollen and stuff like that, I deal with it. There's claritin. I could not imagine living in a world where I was afraid of flowers. Hmm. Animals, on the other hand, are hmm. a whole other ball game. <laughs> <laughs> <you> with these. <laughs> oh, honey, I went to go see somebody's puppies once. I couldn't stay in that house for more than five minutes before my eyes fall shut and I couldn't breathe. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know, we're coming up on the time where I can't pet the cat or the dogs. The cats or the dogs. Do 
Yeah. Considered cheating if you get something out of it, right? Huh? That's not considered cheating if you get something out of it, right? What? Using. Honey, isn't that how you draw your pictures anyway? Some of them, yeah. yeah I use so a base and it's just pre done for you, so you don't have to redo it every time. Well, I normally use a base, and what I do is I modify it to how I see fit. Okay, so when they do comic strips and stuff like that, do you think they honestly do every single picture individually? Or do you think they have a basis for the pictures? I think in some cases they have a uh, base for the picture. Okay, well... Like in duplicate scenes? They use the same thing, I mean. They use the same stuff. No, if that's the case. Anyway. Although, fun fact about cartoons, did you know that The Simpsons was the only that I know of, I will say that I know of, because I, I don't know about any others, that got sued, or got fined, for wasting the time of its animators? Really? For the one episode, I think it was, that had, like, a hundred different people in it and they had a bunch of different artists doing all the different people and they literally got fined for it because it was a misuse of their resources basically and it was one of the best episodes and i can't even remember which one it was but it was freaking hilarious it's like wow okay did you know they could do that yeah I didn't know they could do that. Um, we're supposed to be learning about that in my business and uh, copyrights class. Ooh, so I get to learn about that stuff with you? Yeah. Yay. I'm always telling you about cool facts that I learned in my class. I Did know. you know it was a year ago today I made my first level? Yes, I saw that. Yeah. And Ron loved the shit out of it. She did. I can't play that forever. If you never have anything to kill on it, that makes you love shooting the walls. Look, it bounces that way. <laughs> it went off the edge. <laughs> Is that really what balls do, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> All I saw was it coming back and hitting her in the face of my head. Yeah. I Just thought it was poof, poof. <laughs> She absolutely loved that. Yeah, and you know, I thought it would be cool if I learned how to play Minecraft with them. Boy, was I wrong. I think you had the right idea. What? Learn how to play Minecraft anyway. Well, you know what? I got, like, totally enthralled in it after you went to bed because I was still trying to figure some stuff out. I still have, like, a million questions. Of, can I do this? How do I do that? Can I do that? You know, stuff like that. But I was building that whole underground world. And I spent all night working on that. And I'm like, okay. And then Lonnie today shows me, hey, check this out, Grandma. Just use TNT. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it was cool because they saw my little underground thing that I was working on. And all of a sudden, they both wanted to do underground stuff, too, which was, like, really cool, because it kind of triggered them to want to do something different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I was actually going to build houses down there. I was going to have my whole little society underneath their cities. Yeah, I, I kind of gathered that. I was just like, I was kind of giggling on the inside when I saw what you were doing. Well, I was figuring if I did it right, I could open up space and uh, have places where the sun would come through so I could plant crops down there so we could be like totally self sufficient down there. Yeah? Yeah. See, you're getting the hang of Minecraft. Well, you know what my hardest part was? What? Going and raping and, raping and pillaging the frickin' 
villagers. Villagers. And they get so mad. <laughs> you took my door. I woke that dude up and he was like, Blap? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Fine, I'll take your light and go. <laughs> you sound like you were having so much fun with it. I was. I was frustrated, though, on top of it. I was like, how do I do this? I'm like, good God, is there not a quicker way to do this than, like, have to hit a brick 50 fucking times to get it to disappear? And I've got, like, this huge thing I'm trying to make, and it's like, okay. Well, what you do is you make a pickaxe. Yeah, I didn't know I could do that. You're the one that showed me that. Oh, here, just do that. Well, okay, but you didn't show me how to do it. And then I gotta go get resources, but I gotta go rape and pillage the people to do it. And I'm just like, I'm just an observer. Um. <laughs> well, I will trade you. I had fun with it. Bonnie was having fun playing with me. Rowan, not so much. She was mad because I actually knew what I was doing this time. <laughs> and then it was no this way this way come on this way and then she'd go get something to fight with her and she'd bring it right over to me so it would kill me I'm like really <laughs> yeah that kid does that to all of us goodness gracious yeah don't anger the granny key you never know what you'll get but I thought it was cool because she just watched me for a little bit with what I was doing and she went back in the next game she put in and she mimicked it. And she did real good. You talking about Rowan? I'm talking about Rowan. Lonnie did too, but Rowan, you know how Rowan is. Rowan goes to YouTube and watches videos on how to make something and then goes on Minecraft and does it. And then she pops off with a whole family of triceratopses that she built. Hey, look at my giant triceratops. <laughs> look more like a skinwalker, but I don't believe her it was a triceratops. <laughs> Goodness, you got me laughing. I can't even draw when I'm laughing. That's fucking funny. You got me over here just like, that's pretty funny that she's just like, it's a triceratops. Oh, she did the whole family. She did mommy and daddy and two babies and then she built a portal and a, in a, in a train. She likes the trains. Yeah. Yeah. And that's really sad because my favorite train hobby store closed down. What's the name of it? Caboose Hobbies. Burn. My mom and my sister and I used to build trains. It started one Christmas. It was like everybody has, you know, the whole train around the Christmas tree thing. Yeah. Cool. And my mom, instead of doing the train, bought us cars. And we put them together and we built okay. a whole train for the next Christmas. Okay. Yeah. And then every Christmas I'd wreck it around the Christmas tree. <laughs> Wonder what happens if you put this on the track. <laughs> oh no, the tree fell. <laughs> Carnage everywhere. I'm sorry, I'm switching softwares, guys. This software just does not like me. Is he okay? Yeah, he, he is. Just worked again. Just you wake up? I'm just having a puppy bear. Why is it? Oh, there it goes. It's like here. But yeah, I figure when the girls get older, we'll maybe try the train thing. I think Rowan is like that. Oh, I do too. I loved it until I broke the engine crashing it and my mom yelled at me and we never saw the train again after that. Give it a minute, guys. So I'm going to iron that out tomorrow. I'm going to find a way to do it. 
Actually, <sighs> would it be easier to turn it through the washer than the dryer and would that wrinkle even more? But it depends. See, I don't know why they make backdrops out of that material, because it's fucking hard as hell to keep it wrinkle-free, and you want your backdrops to be wrinkle-free. Um, your best bet is to go with, like, a vinyl backdrop. And they do make green screens with vinyl. Well, if I would have known that it was that material, I wouldn't have bought it. Well, it's okay. It happens. Another way to, well, but then you have the shimmery effect, which kind of really, I mean, there's a lot that goes into green screen, in all honesty. You got to have the right lighting or it does weird stuff. You got to make sure you're not wearing any green, you you know, it, it's, but you can do some fun stuff with it. Gee, yeah, I know the fun stuff you can do. Take yourself into Photoshop. Take out the background. Ooh, you know what? You just reminded me. I have my uh, terabyte with all my old stuff on it from graphic design class. Yeah. Yeah. Show off a little bit of my art. <laughs> See, I kind of wanted to get in the green screen, but only for certain aspects. Well, I think that it would be great for, um, you okay if I talk about it? Models. Yeah. But I think that it'd be fun to have our models stand in front of a green screen and like switch their background and have them dressed up their Okay, but the thing is is that my computer product, my software that I use anyway does that. Pretty easily too. I mean it's the same it's a little bit easier than doing it in Photoshop. You're making me sad. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> now, I'm thinking about the girls and dinosaurs in a movie and, yeah, get them little green screen gloves. Hmm. Let Rowan have at it. Oh, hey, look, it gives me tutorials. <laughs> I was just thinking, I thought that would be fun. I saw a little setup for kids that I was thinking about getting, and it's a little video camera that does all of it in camera, where you can pick the background for the green screen in camera instead yeah. of going in later on and putting it in. And it's only like a 5 me megapixel camera, so it's like <laughs> not 4K quality, but for them, they love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is bright. And well, isn't it about feeding the creativity? Yeah. Wanna see something really cool? You wanna edit some pictures for me? I don't know, show you something really cool. So you have your ball right here, right? And she's her elliptical tool. Elliptical tool? Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Do that. Do it. my elliptical tool. Do my last one. That was in. Go back up. My lips. It should be a new perfect circle. Only if you hold shift. No, I won't be coloring outside of the line. <coughs> there you go. Ta da! You can see this button right here. Oh, let me. You know what else you can do to make that easier? What? Well, wow, how is it that I know this? <coughs> no, I want to see how much you know before I start whooping out all these terms that you're just like, uh, you lost me. Okay, first, I am not a graphic designer. <coughs> Sorry, big pen. Ooh. Anyhow, um, go back. Delete all of that. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna talk you through something. Delete it all right now. You gotta give it a minute. 
No, do it now. <laughs> oh, 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 we're gonna do <laughs> Yes, make them patient. Do it now, do it now. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> okay, now take your bucket tool. You should go all the way back. I'm all the way back. Okay. Yes, and I said, now take your bucket take my tool. my bucket tool. Here's my bucket tool. And go to the bottom here where it says more. And it should be in there. No? Where the hell did they put your bucket tool? Okay, I can't see you. That is too small for me to be able to see. Hang on. Edit toolbar is what that is. No. It's going to be... Right there. Paint bucket. Okay. Yeah, I can't see. There. Oh, much better. Okay, now what color do you want? What color do you want your circle to be? <laughs> There's no circle. <laughs> what color do you want your circle to be? Gray? That has to be light gray. I'm going to show you something cool. Use your elliptical tool. Hold on a minute. I already know this trick. <laughs> okay, what do you do from here? There you go! Yay! That's also how you take a fucking background out of a picture. Boom! Oh yeah. Well, you take a background out of your picture. Honey, do you know how much stuff I have to remove from backgrounds to keep it from looking like a clusterfuck? Probably a lot. Let's see. Yeah, I haven't quite perfected microphones yet, but I'm getting there. And what, let's just be honest here, with the advances that they're making with the AI technology with Photoshop and Lightroom, it's getting easier every year. <laughs> I need a bit of bubble. <laughs> so there you go. Work smarter, not yeah. harder. I love how you're like, I'm not a graphic designer. I'm not. I have done a vector, vexel vector, or whatever the hell that thing is called that took me like a month to do, and dude, just, yeah. A vector image of yourself? No, it's called a vexel vector or something. Yeah, but yes, yeah, so that's exactly what it is. That's actually what it's called is a, yeah. But I still have the picture and I thought it was cool and all, but goddamn, that was a lot of fucking work. When I could use a couple of filters and change a few things and have the exact same thing in about 20 minutes. 23. Uh, I'm pretty good at it, so I said 20, probably less. It's literally just a couple of filters and a little tweaking here and there, and it's done. You're funny. How am I funny? You know, books aren't everything. You need to get over that. Oh, I thought it was small this time. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was kidding. Are you pre-warning me it's going to be a rough night? <laughs> 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 well, why you always got to take it to parts? <laughs> like, seriously. No, we do it because I love you. We're eating dinner. Oh, hey, fart, 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 fart. We're just hanging out. Oh, fart, 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 fart. Hey, sometimes the chicken. When you're actually <laughs> farting. Oh, it wasn't me. It was the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I can't do this. <laughs> so don't you make me want to draw one of our... <laughs> you make me want to draw the moniker. <laughs> By talking about farts. Yeah, I think we really need to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the home demonic Furbies are, remind me of farts. Okay. Actually, you know, I've been watching too much of, and I think I blame my kid for this one. What? 
The Mitchells versus Machines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maya he. Maya he. You know, I'm being a Cheyenne and Spain. <laughs> With fancy clothes and fancy cuts. I don't think I like that version as much as, is it French? Or is it it's just Romanian? It's Romanian. I should have known that. I have a friend from Romania. It has, it has more of a French feel to it. And now you make me want to sing that song all the way through. You remember my friend Gabe? Yes. He was from Romania. He was raised there. And he told me that if I, if anything, I have to see Budapest in my lifetime because I would absolutely love it. Okay. Well, and there's another reason for us to go to Romania. Hmm. You know what's in Romania. Dracula's castle? Dracula. Dracula's castle. And they've actually opened it up to where you can stay the night in a coffin in there. But my question is, would I be able to run around and do spooky shoots through the fucking castle all night? That's what I want to do. Could you imagine doing ghost images all over the fucking castle? <laughs> Who would I draw Furby? Yeah, I can see it. You don't. Because they're creepy. It's like a demonic little thing, like you know, your little beak thing like this. It's demonic little eyes. So we are going to go do some of those images at Bishop's Castle this year. So we're going to do this. Are we? Yes. Where's Bishop's Castle? At the Colorado Springs. Okay. It's still not finished, and the guy that was building it sold it, so nobody knows what's going to happen with it at this point, so I kind of like to see it before they decide to do something stupid with it. Yeah? Yeah. And we got to go to Florida, too, because I'd love to do the same thing when we have the Coral Castle. You like my rendition of a Furby? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not creepier than the original or anything. <laughs> What's up with this? Oh, well, we can do something like this. Oh, damn. So he's got, like, a castle on his head? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to make him Peggy. <laughs> oh, peg leg. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna make him miss an ear completely, so there needs to be a little bit of. You gotta leave a nub. A downer and some fluff. They don't ever. You gotta leave a nub. They don't ever like do it like that. They're always just kind of like. Do you remember the ears were like skeletal? So like you should leave like part of the skeletal piece there with like pieces of the fabric ripping off of it. That would be more. What the heck is that? I can't draw right wow. now. Wow. I just like it like that. Click the little rendition of a Furby. Yeah, it looks like somebody put a knitting needle through his head and came out of his leg. <laughs> I love you. What? I didn't think you could possibly make them creepier than they really are. You know what? That you're trying too hard, just read. I'm not trying too hard, it's just I got something else on the brain. You're trying too hard, so just read. Like a frog? Doodles are fun. <laughs> Come on, Larry. Are you 
feel like the cops are gonna die. Like, <laughs> I was gonna do a nerd, but I was like, meh. See, because if I continue, then I. I'm offended you for drawing pictures of me. Doop. I'm sitting right here. Doop. <laughs> Doop. Oh, definitely. See, now you're just <laughs> making fun of me. You keep telling you forgot the hunchback. I guess I lost my arms in the war or something. <laughs> What's that? I got flippers. Oh. Yeah, if that's the case, here's some flippers. <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> Yay, that's what I look like. Oh, that was Yay. a bad joke. You're funny. Looks more like my dog. He looks, like, looks like a hippo. We don't have a dog. We've got a hippo in disguise. It's so weird not having it all scratched up. Is that throwing you off? Yes, it's throwing me off. Do you follow the scratches to draw? Sometimes. <laughs> it was like, connect hey, the dog. that scratch is straight. <laughs> it's like connect the dots like this. It's like scratch here, scratch here, scratch over here. Oh, this whole area is like scratch the gap, and then there's another scratch over here. It's another scratch over here. You and your connect the dots. You've been like that since you were a kid. Do you remember what you guys used to do? Yeah. I used to do it with the stars all the time, too. Yeah, that's not what I was talking about. And wait until the day your kids do it. Yeah? Yeah. You guys used to take your little pens and play connect the dots with my freckles. <laughs> that came up with some pretty cool little pictures sometimes. Sometimes it was absolutely horrifying. Hello, how are you? You know who it is. The favorite pubs. Hello. Did you watch that damn movie? Don't make me have to walk all the way out to fucking Wyoming and kick your butt. Or Nebraska or wherever the hell. <laughs> what did he say? His tummy's all fuckery today. Oh, drink some mint tea. In the woods, huh? You should watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you spell it. Fine, since you want me to be politically correct. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I want to see. What do you say? If my client would stay asleep, I would have finished by now. How, how far did you get? Yeah, how far did you get? <laughs> Has anybody died yet? See, up, yeah, up, check. Can we go the ocean? Let's give the neighbors something to talk about. Yeah, I'm sick. I shouldn't be saying. What do you say? 45 minutes. That's not bad. That's not bad. The end is kind of a mind fuck. But they left room for a second one if he decided to do it. Are you see my favorite tool in here? The bucket tool? <laughs> Not the bucket tool. What do you mean? You know what my favorite tool in there is? 
Yes, the gradient tool. You want to see why? Did you know that both Photoshop and uh, and uh, Lightroom, why can't I never remember the name of that must program I use? It's ridiculous. Have a thing that will help you make sure that your horizon is straight. They have a tool that you do exactly the same thing across where you want it to go, and it'll fix your picture for you. You like this, huh? That pink is iridescent pink. <laughs> I'm just like, I like this. Hey, no, this. You're cute. You are so just not, don't know what to do tonight, huh? I don't. I really don't. And that's okay. And that's okay. That is okay. <laughs> like a good mind fuck or a bad mind fuck? It's a good mind fuck. Well, you're going to watch it at least three, four times and still question the fucking end. But that's the way that they made it. Don't ask. <laughs> My research tool decided it was going to take a shot. <laughs> okay, why is your thing so big but it's only doing a small area? What's up with that? Um, it's the type of eraser I have on. Okay, so you've got a gradient, or a, you've got a... Oh, what's it, what's it called? Baby, 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 boo. No, see a really cool brush? The, the, you know what I'm talking about, right? Mm-hmm. Where it's not solid? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I meant, where it's not solid. No, I didn't do it. Can make it bigger. Fine. And then what you do is like you take your regular brush, shoot that back down. So now my watermark is a. Uh, stamp or a brush yeah so yeah and like you can go so you can like practice calligraphy on here Mm-hmm. And then you just need another one over here to... Where you could, like, not make those L's so really weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you can see it on there. Yeah, this is a fantastic mind fuck. All right, let me see. You want to play around? Oh, leave that there. Leave that there. Just erase the... Writing. Okay, so, um, let me erase the whole thing and then I'll put another grid down for you. Okay. Because there's plenty of grids to choose from. No, that's perfect, actually. It doesn't really matter, but... Hey, Mom. You like? This is your ringtone pickup. Your cell phone. Talk to me. Who said me? Back to voicemail. <laughs> See, and why do you never sing my favorite song from that movie? Oh, hey. <laughs> Tell me I have to. You're going to have to lean over the fucking bun to get to it. Okay. So, how big is your brush on this? Currently, it is a, a 58. 
can't get two different prescriptions, honey. I can't see close up and far away at the same time. You can see both. Yeah, blurry as fuck. That was not cool. That was totally not cool. No, we haven't heard about that. We haven't really heard about anything. About what? The dumb people putting gas in plastic Oh, yes, bags. I did. You did? And did you hear about dude that thought it would be cool to put a bunch of gas in a fucking bags in his fucking thing and light a cigarette and blow him, blow his fucking car up? What? Yeah! Huh? I think I give up on the human race. Why? Have we just like devolved or something? Oh honey, we've been progressively devolving for quite a while, but that doesn't mean that all is lost. See, the problem is, is the mentality of people to do stuff like that. What's happened is that people just don't give a fuck about people anymore. It is... It, it goes along with keeping up with the Joneses. Let's be perfectly honest here, right? It completely and totally goes with keeping up with the Joneses. We no longer look at people as our brothers and sisters. We look at them as competition. I need to have the bigger, badder toys. I need to have the, the prettier, sexier, more whatever spouse. I have to, you know, it's a game. And what people don't realize is that that's not the shit that makes you happy. But yes, that is some absolutely ridiculous shit. But did anybody expect any differently after the shit with toilet paper of all fucking things? <laughs> okay. Elford, move. Elford, go. Ew! Really? Okay, what do I do here? Just hit that? Just hit the X. Okay, so. Sorry about that. <sighs> really? We have troublemaker puppy, don't we? Yeah, lots of fun stuff going on. Okay, Elford, go. Go. You go now. You go. Don't sit on stuff, just go. No! <laughs> he sat on it again. <clears throat> Elford, down. Go. Go. Down. Down. Why are you being stubborn, puppy? Because he cuddles his mommy finally. Well, that has nothing to do with it. He cuddles him all the time. He's just being a pill. Okay, so. How big is the brush on this? It's 58 currently. Okay, so we want that extra small. We don't need it to be. A big fat line. We need a big fat line. Big baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a lot different than. <laughs> oh, shush. <laughs> Have fun with it. Have fun with it. I don't know what to write. What should we write? Da, 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 da. This is so different than what you used to. Yeah, I can do this with my mouse like Kate. But this little tablet thing is kind of weird. <laughs> it's like writing on air, isn't it? No. 
Take flight to it. Okay, so where are you bring this? Imagine how long it took me to get you. Actually, I'm going to see the brushes. What I need. And people want to play the big dick energy. He's got that big bow energy. Yes, but people forget that the average penis is only five to six inches. <laughs> now, <laughs> everybody has that big dick energy, hon. <laughs> we were really talking about <laughs> Well, we were talking first. Why the hell not, right? Oh, come on. It's a part of the body. Why is it such a horrible taboo thing to talk about? Yeah, Mom, it's a penis. Oh, gross. I wonder how you came to be in existence. And how my two kids came to be. <laughs> it sure had nothing to do with a penis. <laughs> Seriously, you were the doorknob. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that was great. <laughs> okay. Yes, I thought you were the milk fans. No nope, button the doorknobs. Oh my god, worst thing your sister ever said to your dad. <laughs> she asked me I was busy doing something and she asked me why she had blonde hair and nobody else in our, in, had it and I was like kiss honey you're the milkman's and I was just fucking around I didn't mean to say it like that and she told your dad <laughs> he's like what do you mean she's the milkman we don't even get milk I was like exactly that's why we never got caught <laughs> 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 oh man okay you're fucking fantastic sometimes sometimes I'm just a bear Rawr. hey you know what life is supposed to be fun what people think is life isn't living I'm just ready to be able to go on adventures again. No? Okay, yeah. Okay, so. Let's just see. Nope, that's not big enough. Do you not have any good brushes for this? <laughs> I'm here for a good time, not a long time, so fuck it. Exactly, but not really. And okay, I subscribe to if it's not hurting anybody and it makes you happy, fucking do it. You should definitely run for president one day, Mom. Hell no! I would never be a good president. They would assassinate me at the inauguration. Be like, all right, my first official rule of pre as president is I'm declaring martial law and I'm shutting down both houses. Fuck you. We're going to redo this shit. Because, well, you know, you want to know where the corruption really is? How about these people? Okay, this is my main point with this and people get mad at me for this because they're like, oh, he did not. Um, why did we have a known murderer as a senator for 42 fucking years? Until somebody can answer me that question, I don't want to hear anybody talk about fucking politics. Oh, it's the president. Yeah, the president might as well be the queen of fucking England at this point. He has no power. He is a figurehead for them to get away with what the fuck they're doing. But hey, you know, they want to stop teaching civics in high school so kids don't know that their rights are being violated by people. But hey, you know what? Let's just sit back and not give a shit. You know what's going to happen when all the old geezers die and none of us want to be... Well, there's already a huge thing with kids not... with your generation not wanting to have kids. And I don't blame them. 
I really don't. I don't blame them at all. You know, that's... Hey, I originally didn't want kids. You know that, right? I didn't either. And what's that saying? One slip of the dick and you're fucked? Yeah, that's kind of how it happened. I don't regret it one bit, but yeah, I had my life planned out and it did not include having kids. But you know what? I will never regret that decision. I think that was probably one of the greatest decisions I ever made in my life. Yeah, you know, you know my opinion on it. Well, I don't regret mine, but... If I'd have gone through with my plans, you'd have been a different nationality. And I'd probably have been 80 when I had you. <laughs> nah, like seriously, I had my life completely planned out and yep, it just kind of went to shit. Okay, you don't have any good calligraphy brushes. No, I don't. I was gonna do, uh... And I'm not used to this thing. You give me a, a nice brush pen. Yeah, we can have some fun with that. Well, I'll get used to a stylus and, uh... Well, if you had... A regular brush, I could show you something really cool. My handwriting, when it's done with a proper tool, is calligraphy. Yeah, I know. But when I just do it with a regular pen, it looks like just regular handwriting. You know whose handwriting I used to love that I am so jelly of, but I just could never get it like that was my mom. My mom had absolutely beautiful handwriting. See, this is like, you know what the difference is and my problem is here? Hmm. Is that, A, I like to talk shit to you, haha, -ha. and B, this is too smooth. You know, you did better with it when there was the scratches on it because it has some pull like a piece of paper does. And that's why these are so difficult for a lot of people to do is because of the smooth surface. Who's ever used to writing on a smooth surface? Well, graphic designers have to. Oh, okay. Shall we? Shall we try our little thing? Is Mr. Tubbs still there? Because we heard a very interesting thing, and I want to hear what everybody's response to it would be. Which, uh, that whole thing about that there is a song that one word. And people from 80 to as young as possible to be able to know words to songs will know exactly what song it is. He is. Okay. okay. So when you're thinking music that everybody would know, and the only word that you get is some. Some. Okay. So what, what song is it? Ray and I both have different ideas of what it is, but I'm right, and I know I am, because I'm just that good. <laughs> Somewhere over the rainbow. Exactly! Ha! I told you! The only people... Okay, because how old is that movie? It's pretty freaking old. And I'm sorry, but growing up, one of my favorite songs was Judy Garland singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And that was because of my mother. And then we used to watch The Wizard of Oz. Tried to watch it with the girls. They weren't into the flying monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that I didn't even know what song you were singing. I mean, it, the tune sounded familiar. Somebody once told me the Oh, okay, yeah. Song. It is Shrek. No, but, ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. But we're talking like 100-year-old people would know this song. 
Oh, I knew what song it was. I just was being me. Yeah. Well, I think it's cool, though, because you know what? In another 50 years, it's probably going to be a different song. Good, good point, good point. What? Um, he, th- he doesn't think Lizard Dabrowski thinks Israel. I can't pronounce the last name from there. Oh, yeah. The Hawaiian guy is. Is he? Is. The girls love that rendition of that song. And that is like one of the coolest stories I've ever heard about the recording of a song. And I guess for those that don't know, dude calls this guy up at three o'clock in the morning, says, hey, I want to record this song. And he goes and does it in one fucking take. Boom. And it's like the song he's the most well known for. I remember when he died, that was actually pretty sad. He actually had a really good catalog of music, too. Yeah. Yeah. But people are about what's... Tra- that would be the guy. I'm what? earning diamonds right now, so... Oh, well, you should be concentrating on your stream. Hello? I'm concentrating on both, so... Hello, if you don't, I'm gonna just start saying messed up stuff and get you in trouble with a bunch of YouTubers and shit. Get me messed up with a bunch of YouTubers. <laughs> See what happens. Don't you know that's how you get famous is you beef with people? So who we beefing with first? Uh, Nick Sametti. Nick Sametti, huh? Yes. I'm so jelly. Why? I went to make a river table. And he and he gets to play with the lathe and yeah. He's actually one of my favorite YouTubers. He's absolutely awesome. Uh, you want me to actually beef with people now, huh? No, I don't. Mm-hmm. I just told you if you don't get involved in your stream, I'm going to start beefs with people just to fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> you hear this? Granny's trying to get me in trouble. Yeah. Granny's on the run. <laughs> yeah, you think... uh Bad grandpa was bad. Right, until Little you... grandma goes bad. <laughs> it was all good. And then she left the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> no cookies for you, young man! <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Why must you torment me like this, Mom? Because. Because I can. Because I can, because I can, because I can, can, can. Yeah, so you might want to get over there and draw something. Sam. Sam what? Sam. Sam. So have you ever tried to use your fancy brushes to paint a picture? Like the the star ones and stuff like that? Because, like, that's how I learned how to use the brushes, was I got a bunch of really cool brushes, and I started making pictures with the brushes. Um, yeah, actually, I've made, I've made some pretty cool art. Yeah? Yeah. I'm just kind of strapped for ideas tonight for some weird reason. Well... Are you having, like, a piece, like, writer's block? Artist goods or that? Well, I guess they do. I see that a lot from people that I know on Facebook and Instagram. They're like, oh, blog up your picture of it. And I know how to deal with writer's block most of the time, but 
I don't really draw, so that's not an issue. Still think we should have just stuck with the gap. Oh, yep, see? Hmm. And that's what you do every time you get blockage. I'm just gonna go flip with this hole. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much You've it. got like seven different versions of it in different colors, but we keep going back to it. We keep going back to it. Yeah, I can't remember who said the quote, but I think that a lot of times I have to agree that art is never finished, it's just merely abandoned for new projects. What do you think? I agree. Okay, well, elaborate a little bit on that, ma'am. No, well, I do agree that it gets abandoned for other projects. Okay, so do you leave stuff to where you can live with it, or do you actually try to... Because I see people that'll work on stuff for days and months, and, you know, when I'm actually painting pictures, some of them can take me upwards of six months to do, because I don't like it, so I'll go back and try and do it, and sometimes I can get it done in 20 minutes. Well, you want to see one of the coolest softwares I own? Is it going to help us take over the world? It could. I mean, look at its eyes. It's already pinky or gray. Look. It's a redhead with green eyes. They're almost black color, too. That's crazy. So this is the craziest software I have. That's crazy. Yeah, isn't it funny how they always put red hair and green eyes together? Yeah. Now what are we doing today, Breen? Same thing we do every day. Although I would be pinky. Because, uh, you know, in the scheme of things, I guess it just depends on who you are. And they never really elaborated. But isn't it Pinky that makes everything? Yeah. So who's the genius? Pinky and the brain, 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 brain. I mean, okay, we could get into a whole philosophical conversation about Pinky and the brain. That was like one of the best shows ever for the fact that it miyagi do kids into learning shit. And you didn't know it until years later. Here you go, Mom. Hey, you found a good... There you go. That's a good brush. That's an excellent brush. Now you just got to get it at the right angle. Can you change the angle of it? Um, you should be able to. Okay, change the angle of it. You want it at about a 30 degree angle. Hold on, let me... And then you've got that flat calligraphy pen tip that I like. Um, never mind. It won't let me change the angle. But... Yeah, sure. Let me see real quick. Yeah, I thought you'd be okay, interested on, in how epic the software is. Hold on, let me erase my shit and you can have it. Still. It could be just the way that you're holding the pen. Let me see. Come on. Okay, so. You literally have to hold it at an angle like this. It's hard with me. You know what I need is one of those blunt things or else I'm going to be touching this. But... Okay, so you see how you thick ones, thin lines, it's how you, uh, it's the way you hold it. Okay. 
can you just like group? Here, I'll show you what I've done. And then Mr. Burnett, I'm a photographer, not a graphic designer. <laughs> okay, Mr. Okay, photographer. so what are we doing today? See, and then there's a button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rah. <laughs> Damn, and I picked your name. How the fuck can I not spell it? I'm kidding. I got distracted. But okay, so you see how it works? It's the, it's the angle. So if you hold it at the proper angle, then it'll mimic the calligraphy pen. I see it. I see it. And like I said, the problem that you have and the reason why you feel like you have no control when it's smooth like that is because paper grips your pen. And whether you know that or not, that's what you're used to. And when things change, it throws you off. Do you know how many times I usually have to resign those things when they make me sign for shit because my name is so damn long and they give me a space that's this big and my handwriting is huge. So I get like half of my name in there and I'm like, oh, gotta start over. There you go. A little bit more. A little bit more. You want your upstrokes, your slide upstrokes to be almost completely flat or almost it's like the, the thinnest lines you can possibly make them. There you go. You see your E there? There you go. Good. Good, 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 good. Got a dog. Do, do, do. I got a dog. And I'm angry. Cause he's a nuggy, but we love him. Stomp around the room, then hug him back again. Yeah. I can't believe he hugged me that day. That was great. Oh, honey, he's a very lovely dog. He's just a brute. And he's addictive. Dude. Have you met my kids? No, nah, this is straight up like a massive thing. Because he like seriously was trying to get to you and he was mad I was trying to get Coda in and he was like, nope, it's time for me to go for my ride and that's when he stepped on my foot and cut me. And you think that dog don't know he's a big old fucking balloon. What's that he likes to do to people? Shoulder check them? Right? Yeah. I am making chicken alfredo. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Ew. Yummy. Are you like making it from a tin or are you making it from scratch? Because if you're making it from scratch, I'm jelly. Well, I have really, really good morning to make chili rellenos. Tevin, you have to come home. <laughs> Dude, if you come down and we make that, you're fucking helping, because that fucking shit takes forever. You, like, make them the night before and eat them the next day, because by the time you're done making them, you're like, fuck this shit. <laughs> Already ate, uh, like, only a had pound enough of money cheese. for the cans. Huh? He only had enough money for the cans. Oh, honey. Did you at least put some other seasoning in there? Because that's some bland shit. Yeah, Frankie carries a pocket full of seasoning. That's <laughs> awesome. That's <laughs> pretty <laughs> awesome if he does. I carry a pocket full of seasoning, but it's all the way to seasoning you put on your food. He prefers making it from scratch. <laughs> 
Yes. Yes. Hey, he's come and helped us in the kitchen. He's he's good to have in the kitchen. I like that. Mmm. These days I need someone to cut vegetables and stuff, so that's always a bonus. Hey, that looks like those crazy, like, 1980, late 80s, early 90s shirts people used to have done at the mall. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty neat, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think that I'm going to end stream here tonight. Mm -hmm. Have you seen what time it is? No, I haven't seen what time it is. It's 12.30. Oh my god. Mm. I turned into a pumpkin and you didn't even tell me? <laughs> Damn it, Mom. <laughs> what is your malfunction, child? Aw, oh, he loves to cook. Awesome. What is my malfunction? Yes. You didn't tell me I turned into a pumpkin. I'm just tired. That's all good. Odd stream tonight, honey. Yeah. But we're going to end stream here, and we'll pick back up tomorrow. Thank you for coming out and have watching. A good, have a good night, and watch that damn movie, Tevin. <laughs> okay. It's not I Zombie Chronicles of Pain, but it was damn fucking good. Maybe a mix of all three. I can't remember all the weird movies I gave him, but I know I gave him some fucked up movies <laughs> to watch. Right. Well, I'm stream here in a minute. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. You two. You three.